Hello everyone, my name is Ramke Singh from India and today we are going to teach you how to send the JSON data, how to send the any data to the server. So it's a very simple, I will teach you and I'm bound to make a request that this is my channel if you are visiting first time so please subscribe my channel and it is my great pleasure that I am doing something for you. So it's your responsibility to do something for me so please subscribe my channel and give me thumbs up so let's start it today our work that uh, i have to send the data to the server so it's a very simple uh, tutorial in which you will learn so uh, i have already made one tutorial that this is our information class rotator in which i am giving all information that i want to send the data uh, i want to send the data into to the server so this is my uh, information class where I am uh, I have taken a string integer and I am putting all the value into the string and uh, then I am creating my one new class that is save load. This is the main class where we will write all our script to send the data, send the JSON to the server. So I mean I want to send the, you can send the string, you can send the JSON data. So I will teach you how to convert the string data to the JSON data. So simply if uh, we are creating one C sharp script that is that is save load and each we in which I am uh, I will create one rotator uh, object that is our class and uh, this object I will pass into to convert the JSON. So I have uh, taken one string file path that I will show you that uh, I have JSON I have converted all the data into the JSON form so this is the just a file path location so and I have one set URL that is the path where you want to send your JSON and this is my start method where I am putting my file path it will create one automatic path uh, where save.txt will store and start coroutine will start my save method so i enumerator is a very important you have to write this that it will uh, run parallelly and uh, uh, take a request to the server so uh, we have wwl form uh, where it is a one class we are uh, using the json utility utility class to convert our all the data i am passing r this is the object of another class and it converting the json uh, data all the data into the json string that is also a string and then uh, i am passing that uh, json string to the save.txt and this is the json form and then i am adding form.8 field where you can put the key and value and the key is x value is json string so if you want to send the json so json string and if you want to send the any string so you can put the key and value so if you want to json uh, string so you have to pass the x and uh, that json string if you want to pass any value so uh, that is already created in your php script so you have to write key and value pair then this is our json uh, i have already created save.txt that's uh, for that you can uh, see this and you can learn that uh, this is our json so after that i am showing you my code that uh, uh, that is save.txt uh, where i am uh, returning ill return null so it doesn't matter you can return anything but uh, i am returning null value and uh, uh, i am simply sending the value as a key value pair but uh, i am sending the json so you want to send the simple string so you can send but i am sending the json string so it's so very simple and hope you enjoy this video and uh, this is simple i have if you run this code so it will send the data to the server and uh, i have already done this so if you are facing any problem so you can put in the comment box and if you want to know about i enumerator class start coroutine so you can search about it but uh, i is just simply that they run parallelly and they do not block anything is uh, your main thread if you want about it so this is all about and uh, give uh, gives us thumbs up and thank you so much for watching